Ooh, check out that out loaded that is absolutely loaded Good fish here, guys. Bam! Hammer 10, baby. On that all white hair jig. Right there. All right, guys, that's a great fish to start the episode, I'd say. Whack! That is a good fish, baby. We're gonna keep some for uh, a fish fry coming up. Today, as always, fishing with the uh, 10 footer from the Hammer 10. Professional grade, baby. Super sensitive, great 10 footer, extra diameter, extra thickness, uh, just an absolute stud of a 10 footer. That sniping braid right there is the Comet. You can check that there as well. You can actually get it on my website. But we're gonna do a little vertical fishing, um, a little casting, a little bit of everything tonight. Um, we are in the evening, five o'clock. Uh, Blue bird data, as you can see, after a guide trip today, we did a great job on the guide trip. It was fantastic. Uh, I'm just out here just to give some content for you guys. And also to uh, remind you that we will be at a lot of different shows coming up here in the fall and the winter time. So whether it's Crothersville, the uh, East Tennessee show, the um, Alabama show, um, we're going to be at a lot. So if you have some suggestions, love to hear it comment below appreciate it please share the video let's get put some slabs in the boat we're gonna do a lot more catching on this episode than we have been just to because i gotta get some fish in the live well and we gotta put a fish fry together so let's do it guys here we go Now we're fishing that pile down there and a lot of times you won't see fish in these piles guys and if you just i don't know go right over the top of them they pop out of there real quick especially with a little small hair jig such as these these are all the 130 second ounce hair jigs right here uh, one of my favorites i mean it really is boom got another one that's what i favor just another solid fish right there guys we are putting slabs in the boat and that's all we're fishing you know you don't see a lot of fish in there but they're hidden in there and i'm telling you when you just bring it right over that little pile they just jump out of there like crazy so i'm using the amber color uh, here on the uh, garmin 8616 my favorite now i know i i did use the black emerald for there for a while but i am a big fan of the amber and that's what i go with so it's, it's got a you know appease your own eye of course but that's what i like i think they really stand out i can see little bumps in there i know those are fish and right now we know that they're all pretty good fish this time we're gonna let it we're gonna just glide it across there the whole thing good picture right there guys another one <laughs> they just can't help themselves. Good fish. Man. All right, you guys are seeing us pull out some dandies. We're having a great time here today, I'll tell you right now. So let me... um. We talk about it all the time about hair jigs and how efficient they are and that's what i'm focusing in on today not the plastics because they're just simply not efficient i'm not saying they don't work they work but having to worry about the plastic going on and off etc is is just kind of somewhat of a pain but sometimes 
you have to use plastics and I do when that has to happen. But regardless, today we're using a bunch of plastics. I'm sorry, hair jigs, all, in particular, all white right now. But they come in this um, Let's Go Fishing pack where you get like 45 of them, guys. It's crazy good deal for like $47, something like that. It's about a buck a hair jig. They're 132 ounce jigs. This is one of them. You get a variety of different colors and you'll get the zombie, you'll get the, the swamp, all these hair jigs. I'm a big believer in hair jigs. I'm a big believer in three pound fishing hair jigs. They come with that sickle hook. Um, they're strong, they last forever. I'm not okay, not, maybe not forever, but they, la they last a really long time. Um, in fact, I, I have not worn one out yet. I, I more or less throw them away left and right when they get looking ratty in my boat because I walk all over them. But regardless, there you go. Having a great time. 10 footer, optimal size rod, no doubt about it. Uh, if you can get close enough to them. If not, then go with the Savage 13. The Savage 13 is incredible. It's what I use on all the big fish lakes. I call those any lake south of Memphis. Um, but if I can get even close to a fish on those lakes, I'm still using a 10 footer. Um, you wanna use the shortest rod possible that you can get up to the rod my, and, and to the fish. That's my opinion. I think you can uh, hook, hook set is much quicker with obviously a shorter rod faster 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 and that's what you want so and now anyway more fish let's go in the boat there we go eaters crappy tacos baby Ooh, check out that out loaded that is absolutely loaded man. all right guys that's gonna end the show i appreciate you guys watching do me a favor if you have an interest in a guide trip give me a holler three pound fishing guide service um you can get all that information on the website three pound and uh we'll see you out here in the fall i'm telling you right now we are smoking them we're gonna put a lot of fish in the boat i've got plenty right now to clean so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and uh see you guys later thanks again guys